there is no immediate decision pending on resources because one of the things that uh, I'm absolutely clear about is you have to get the strategy right and then make determinations about resources. So we are going to proceed and make sure that we don't put the cart before the horse. President Obama today talking about U.S. forces inside Afghanistan and when that decision would be made if he makes it. Now, that's coming as we hear from our sources on Capitol Hill and in the military uh, telling Fox News that General Stanley McChrystal's pending request will be for somewhere between 30 and 40,000 more U.S. troops inside Afghanistan. And we are told by sources that is encountering huge resistance on Capitol Hill and that there is sticker shock up on the Hill. The White House is now trying to get more time on this issue. Let's bring in our panel about U.S. forces in Afghanistan. Steve Hayes, senior writer for the Weekly Standard. Mara Eliason, national political correspondent of National Public Radio and syndicated columnist Charles Krauthammer. Charles. Well, the president is stuck and he appears to be undecided. I think it's somewhat remarkable for the president in the middle of a war after he's been the commander in chief for over eight months to admit that he doesn't have a strategy, so he doesn't want to commit the forces until he has a strategy. Well, he needs a strategy. Our troops are out in the field. And if the reports about what McChrystal is asking are true, that really is going to be a giant leap. This is a situation of all in or not in at all. And I think it's the right kind of decision because McChrystal and, of course, General Petraeus, who was the, the conceiver and the man who carried out the surge in Iraq, have a sense that you either have to do it right or you don't try it at all. Now, Obama's problem is this. His political advisors are completely against anything of this kind. They don't want him to become LBJ, the man with the great uh, domestic program brought down by an unwinnable counterinsurgency. They don't want to lose that they're left, and they will. There's no support among Democrats of any importance in the House and the Senate. But lastly, I think the political advisors are loath to be dependent on Republicans if they escalate the war. They're going to have to depend on the likes of Joe Lieb Lieberman to get them through this, and, and that's a wedding none of them want to attend. Mar, we heard the Joint Chiefs 